What's going on guys, this is Damien from The Lookout and I am here with Star Wars once again, yes the new staple on the channel and today we're going over Curio Caverns 1k top 8 breakdown, yes 43 players event, we have the top 8 decklist so let's just dive straight into the breakdown but first thing Huge shout out to the Coffee Club, our lovely patrons. These are our two dollars and up patrons. They buy us coffee. They keep this crazy content grind going. And guys, thanks all for your support. If you wish to join the Coffee Club, link to a patron is in the description below. And I think that's about everything. Roll the video. Here it is, guys. The top eight breakdown. We're gonna have this slide on Facebook a few hours after the video is out. But 43 players, first place. Director Krennic, green blue. So, because there's a lot of these combinations, I'm just gonna type them like this by color using the well established Magic the Gathering uh, coloring system. Because, you know, just typing in shorts, you know, CC just kind of looks bad. <laughs> anyway, Director Krennic, green blue, first place, second place. Palpatine, my boy, Palpatine, green, blue, amazing, best, best Palpatine color, I'm so happy to see this. Uh, third place, Boba Fett, green, yellow Boba Fett, and then everyone's living nightmare, Sabine, is on uh, fourth place, red, green build of Sabine. Then we have fifth place, another Boba Fett, uh, another green, yellow Boba. Sixth place, another green, blue Krennic. 7th place, green, blue, look. Okay, okay, this is interesting. Uh, a lot of green, blue decks in the top 8, and it's cool to see Luke over here, because he's playing differently than Palpatine and Krennic. And then 8th place, another Sabine, but this time red, yellow version. So from this we can see green, blue, like big ramp stabilization, is doing pretty well in the current meta against Agro from Sabine and Boba, and Luke managed to sneak a place in the top 8. That's always cool to see. So, that was the breakdown. Congratulations to all of the players, and let's jump straight into the decks. Okay, guys, I am here with the deck list and with Deck Planet, the best deck builder in the galaxy, unparalleled UI, unparalleled user experience. There's a reason why Deck Planet is the biggest deck builder in Bandai card games, and now they have Star Wars Unlimited as well. Like, nothing comes close. Go check it out. Links are in the description below. You can order your cards however you like. You can immediately click on your leader and immediately see both sides of it. Um, there's a lot of things here in the card search, deck database, buy tags, huge auto to Deck Planet. We've been working with them for years. So huge shout out to Deck Planet, go check it out, and uh, now let's just jump into Krennic. Nick's first place, Krennic, congratulations Nick. So immediately, uh, ECL is the base, because like, hey, you're playing Command. You're, you're playing ECL, if you're playing Command. Um, then we have our control tool kills here with uh, Regional Governor. Uh, with a Viper Probe Droid, so that you know, like, okay, I'm going to be stopping some things. Uh, power of the Dark Side is our removal, so Power of the Dark Side take, uh, take down the two copies, Vanquish at two copies, and uh, my favorite uh, card in the game, with the favorite artwork, actually, Super Laser Blast. So, yeah, we have one copy of Super Laser Blast in the main deck. I don't have the side deck for this list, unfortunately. Uh, no sideboard. Uh, cargo Juggernaut here to help us uh, stabilize. If you control another Vigilance unit, heal fr 4 from your base is only cost 6. That's very, very achievable. Uh, Super Laser Technician and Resupply uh, to help us ramp into our big endgame. Uh, Star Viper, of course, Restore 2 to help us heal. Uh, Reinforced Walker to help us here heal. Let's just kind of put heals like this, you know, so that is easier to see them. See, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then when it comes to the end game, we of course have three copies of Darth Vader. What else the best card in the game at the moment? Uh, we have a lot of targets to get out with him, plus yeah, it's Darth Vader. It's the best card. Uh, we have one Devastator uh, as our space unit. 
and that's basically it and of course the avenger so congratulations nick let's check out second place rick's palpatine yes green blue palpatine command vigilance so inferno 4 because this is your turn one play and uh, it helps you stack your deck basically uh, regional governor of course and then we have Piet, so that we can give ambush to our big reinforced walker uh, we have Yularen to help us heal uh, we have our removal again in power of the dark side uh, vanquish and of course take down um, we have the standard ramp package in super laser technician and resupply we have weirs to help a bit to buff our units okay like a single copy of weirs then we also have uh, traitorous at one to steal something you're playing green you're playing overwhelming barrage and uh on the high end we have one dooku okay when played you may defeat a unit with four or less remaining hp i love this form of removal in blue in vigilance just defeat don't deal damage it's just gone love it uh of course you're in command you're playing vader so three copies of vader three copies of walker to help you heal one copy of avenger i'm sorry my mouse is really loud i've been working on <laughs> getting a more quiet one and then we have uh entrenched attached unit can't attack bases to help you survive uh, an early rush down or to uh, immobilize a big unit a big threat reinforced walker for some extra heal uh, we have more endgame here with devastator relentless uh, we have emperor's legion to help return some units back and we have another copy of make an opening so congrats rick and then let's go to Jorge's boba okay so cunning command boba um let's see what do we have here so of course we have the ramp package uh, we have the standard uh cunning package here in greedo one copy of shoot first no good to me dead um surprise strike we have boba here at three copies because boba is one of the best units in the game and because you are running command as well you're playing the best combo in the game well you just ramp to darth vader and then you just play boba because he costs three and congratulations you just got like a really really savage combo down for relatively super low price of seven plus you have your ramp you will get there relatively fast and then we have just a couple of other control tools in uh, Veilay. uh we have our big space unit in fed's fire spray of course overwhelming barrage traitorous for a bit more control just stealing things and uh that's it basically uh we have here the side deck a star wiper and a walker to help us heal change of heart to steal more than later units just get big stuff and relieve some pressure and another copy of shoot first then we have fourth place skips sabine everyone's favorite leader <laughs> okay uh ecl what else uh yeah very super aggressive super low to the ground um speed for soldier when play unit loses sentinel for this for this phase uh battlefield marine amazingly insanely stated like two cost free free uh and then we have of course three copies of sabine we have the a wing here x wings just a lot of two drops which you basically play on turn one because the, you start with two resources and then we're just building a board of small attackers we're just playing a bunch of cheap attackers not small and then we just rush down our opponent uh and side deck is uh two copies of wolfe two copies of heroic sacrifice one zeb two u-wing reinforcements and three copies of disabling fang fighter when played you may defeat and upgrade okay fifth place lj's boba so another cunning control boba here uh what do we have i think the list is pretty similar to the third place boba um tu -tu -tu, we have we have uh, one viper here though and we have a, a viper probe droid and we have star viper in the main here to help you 
stabilize immediately. You're not waiting to go into best of three. Uh, I mean, into game two. Uh, technician resupply, of course, Boba Fett, uh, Rook. Rook is a nice tech. So basically, when this unit deals combat damage to a non-leader unit while attacking, you just destroy it. You defeated the unit. It is basically a removal tool for anything that's not a leader. Uh, overwhelming Barrage, two copies of Traitorous, and of course Vader, because Vader Boba, the best combo in the game. And uh, we have some additional defense here in the side of the deck with, uh, two, uh, with two copies of Cell Block Guard, just free free Sentinel, um, two copies of Change of Heart, Gamorrean Guards. While you control another cunning unit, this unit gains Sentinel, so just extra defenses. Uh, Syndicate Lake is for ambush. And uh, of course we have Gladiator Star Destroyer give a unit sentinel for this phase. So just mostly defense in uh, the side deck. Then Danny's Boy Krennic. Uh, this one is a bit different from the first uh, first place one because this one is actually running a resupply. Uh, no resupply. Oh my god, <laughs> repair. I saw supply and I was like, okay, uh, repair in the main deck in uh, train. Uh, entrenched as well uh running one copy of no good to me dead and so we're running an off aspect card here exhaust a unit that unit can't really this round uh then you have things that you would expect you know power of the dark side here uh your vanquish is here duku as the high end we have three copies of make an opening uh the standard ramp ram package super laser and resupply cell block guard for some uh, aggro relief, just like Sentinel unit. And now we have Lieutenant Childsen. Childsen. I'm sorry. So, uh, when played, you reveal up to four Vigilance cards from your hand. For each card revealed this way, give an experience token to a unit. That's basically, for those of you new to Star Wars, it's a plus one, plus one marker. And three copies of Vigilance. Okay. So, three copies of Vigilance. Uh, basically, you choose two in any order. You uh, mill your opponent by six. My favorite, because I love milling. Heal five from the base. Defeat a unit with three or less remaining HP or give a shield token to a unit. Then, of course, take down Vanquish, Overwhelming Barrage, do um, Doku Vader. Three copies of Super Laser Blast in the main board. In the main deck. Three copies. So just a ton of stabilization in the deck, ton of removal, ton of stabilization, lots of heals, just looking to get into your late game, stabilize the field, you're running free of this thing so that you can just see it and wipe the board, and then you overrun your opponent with your big plays. And here is the side deck. Then we have 7th place, John's Luke. Okay. So we immediately have <laughs> no aspect. Uh, Force Pro here. Force Pro is amazing. It discards a card from hand, and if you don't know, hand destruction is the best, healthiest, most fun mechanic in card games in general. And I hope we get more hand destruction. Uh, then we have, you know, Bail Organa to give an experience to something. You play your Battlefield Medic, you play a bunch of small guys. So Battlefield Medic, Echo Base Defender, Fleet Lieutenant. Um, you use a look, you pay one, you give a shield token to a unit, uh, but you give it like um, to a unit that you played this phase, and then later when he's deployed, he just gives to another unit a shield token. So basically playing, let's say, like your uh, Cloud City Vingard as a Sentinel, you play your Sentinels, you give them shield tokens, now they can survive more. Um, you have some extra draw and heal here in uh, Yoda. Then you have three copies of Vigilance again. Uh, then we have our Space Sentinel here as well, a System Patrol Craft, give it shield, it's amazing. And then you just play into your uh, late game where you have Luke, uh, three copies of Luke and three copies of Agent Kellis. And then our big one, the big finisher, is a Redemption at 8. Well, it's not finisher, but it is the biggest card in the deck. Heal up to 8 total damage from any number of units and or bases, and you deal that much damage to this unit. Big heal, basically. And then we have some more stabilization in uh, free repairs, and then we have Spark of the Rebellion. You lo we look at our opponents and then discard something. 
because once again hand destruction best mechanic in card games and then we have two copies of strike true and two copies of home one okay and the last one is Ed sabine eighth place um yes red yellow uh, aggression cunning and here we just have you know super small package uh super small units basically we have our greedos we have our speed force soldier our medal ceremony where we just uh again we give an experience token to each up to three rebel units that attack this phase and you will be attacking like a madman so just buffing everything even more and this cost zero so just why not uh we have leia here and then we have you know the standard um rebellion plus red space attackers and the standard package plus millennium falcon here millennium falcon is an amazing card uh very very aggressively stated uh, free cost free four and then we just wrap up with some more rebels and in the side deck we have shoot three copies of shoot first two copies of wolfe three copies of uh, disabling fang fighter when played you defeat and upgrade and two copies of change of heart to steal something so uh yeah guys those were the deck lists. That's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below. What's your opinion on the deck lists? Is there something here that surprises you? Have you been expecting to see a top 8 breakdown like this? Are your lists similar to the ones that I have shown here? Let me know in the comments. I read all of your comments. I try to respond to everything. I love our little community. And guys, while you're here, share the video. It helps out others. Hit that like and subscribe buttons. It helps us out. Stay tuned for more Star Wars content. There's a ton of it coming next week. Yes, we usually just do Dragon Ball. Now we're expanding to Star Wars because the game is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And help us get to 6k subs when I get a giveaway booster box. This has been Damien from The Lookout and I'll see all of you in the next video.